Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a new honeymoon travel vlog series. This time we are in Iceland. I'm going to start by apologising for my appearance. It has been a good 30 something hours since Nick and I actually slept. Um, it's actually the end of our first day in Iceland right now because we've had a few little hiccups today. Basically we had a overnight flight from New York to Reykjavik in Iceland which was supposed to get us in at like six o'clock this morning and we only really have today and tomorrow in Iceland and then we leave super early on Friday the 18th I think it is today is Thursday the 7th no wait today is Wednesday the 17th so we leave super early on Friday the 19th so we had a bunch of like tours booked and basically every second of our time in Iceland was already like pre-booked with some kind of tour so that we could make the most of our two days here. We initially had a trip to the Blue Lagoon uh, scheduled for this morning so essentially we were going to like get off the plane, get a bus to the Blue Lagoon, go to the Blue Lagoon and then come to our hotel um, and then this afternoon we were going on a uh, tour of some of Reykjavik. Um, but unfortunately we had like major delays with our flights. We were like I think over two and a half hours delays. So it was after like 8.30 when we got into Reykjavik this morning which meant that we like completely missed our slot at the Blue Lagoon and all of that so a bit frustrating because um they do like a no cancellation policy or like if you cancel you don't get your money back even if it's a situation like this which is out of your control so just another reason why having travel insurance is also super important because hopefully we'll be able to claim back um our money for our tickets through travel insurance. It's a bit of a bummer because that was something that we obviously really wanted to do in Iceland which is why we booked on to do it um, but yeah, having the delayed plane meant that like, I feel like Nick and I hadn't slept and then when we hopped on the plane we were like overtired or we just like, couldn't sleep for whatever reason and then as I said we had a tour booked for this afternoon which was really fun even though right now it's like 7.30 and I am totally exhausted. The tour that we did this afternoon was a day tour with Reykjavik Excursions um, and it was a Golden Circle Direct tour which is like a six hour uh, afternoon tour for the one that we did. We went to three locations. The first one was a geothermal geyser area which was really cool. You can see like a hot spring erupt every few minutes and there were like super hot water. It was like super steamy and obviously like smelt super sulfury but it was really cool to like see that in its natural habitat. We then went to a waterfall which is called Gullfoss which is about 10 minutes down the road from the geyser. That waterfall is really cool because it's kind of like two waterfalls in one and as you can see from all these videos it's like a pretty spectacular sight. The last Place we went to was a national park which I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of because I'm pretty sure I'll butcher it. I'll chuck it up on the screen um, but it was a really cool national park that kind of sits on the North American and the Eurasian tectonic plates. So you can see there's like heaps of cracks and like movement and stuff in the ground where over time there has been uh, like seismic shift and earthquakes and things that have caused the plates to move. Because we knew that we only had limited time in Iceland we kind of like hummed and hard about if we wanted to rent a car and go and explore all of the places in Reykjavik and around Reykjavik that we wanted to see ourselves or if we wanted to book ourselves onto tour and I think if we'd been here for maybe like one more day or like more than one more day we probably would have rented a car it probably would have been worth it but because of the limited time frame we thought it's probably easier to have like a pre-booked tour that we don't really have to worry about a rental car or maps or trying to figure all that stuff out along the way to the various different places that you're going they are giving you local facts about Iceland and about Reykjavik and about the different areas that you're driving by as well as different facts about the places that you're going so I'm sure it's probably stuff that if we had a guidebook or if we were like super hard out of googling we'd probably be able to find ourselves but it's also really nice to hear it from a local and to kind of just like sit back and not have to worry about like making sure you're seeing everything that like you feel like you need to see because there's someone like pointing out all of the most important bits to you. Anyway that is enough of a ramble for me. I'm going to quickly show you our hotel room because that's kind of been like a trend that I've been doing in all of these videos and then I'm just going to sign off and see you guys tomorrow. So the place we are staying at is called Storm by Kia Hotels. It's pretty central in terms of where all of our tours are leaving from. It's like a 22 minute walk away from the start of the tour and then they drop you off like five minutes around the corner so it's super easy for what we need to do. Um, but yeah this is the little hotel room so I'm standing at the door right now so you have like room for your suitcases. There's a little desk then there is the bed. There's a little like uh, kettle up there but this hotel also includes breakfast and then this is the bathroom. Right next door to our hotel as well there is another hotel and we actually went to this place in here which is like a bear garden for dinner tonight because it was like 
basically the closest thing that we could find and it looked pretty cool. We also learned a pretty interesting fact that beer in Iceland was illegal between 1915 and 1989. So in there they said like they have a lot of catching up to do in terms of uh, like drinking beers and craft beers and stuff and they were like encouraging people to help them out but yeah pretty strange that was only like 30 years ago that beer was illegal here. It is the next day now I'm feeling super refreshed I think I went to sleep last night at like 9 30 p.m and then by 12 30 I woke up thinking that I'd slept like a whole night and was ready to get up and like start the day and I still had like half the night left. Um, but yeah, feeling nice and refreshed after getting a good sleep. Today we are doing a all day tour which is of the South Shore. So I think we're going to see some waterfalls, we're going to see the Black Sand Beach and a bunch of other stuff that I will of course show you. I think actually this picture in the background of this waterfall is actually the one we're going to be seeing today which will be pretty cool. It is just about to go 8 o'clock. Our tour starts at 9 o'clock so we're going to quickly run down, have a bit of breakfast at the hotel and then head to the bus terminal to start our tour. The tour we did today was called the South Shore Adventure and as the name would suggest we were exploring the South Shore. The first place we went to was a place called Lava which is like a volcano kind of education centre and museum thing. Um, on a good day I think you can see quite a lot of the volcanoes that are active volcanoes in Iceland but today it was quite foggy and rainy so we didn't get to see too many of them. Our next stop was then this other waterfall which was just insanely beautiful. Um, I can't remember the name of it but it should be up on screen right now for you to read. Our third stop of the day was to the Black Sand Beach uh, where you can see there's really cool rock formations as well that almost look like steps up. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then there's also a lot of like caves and things like that as well. This beach is apparently also like a super dangerous beach because they have these things called sneaky waves as the name would suggest. They sneak up on people who are like taking photos on the beach and stuff um, and can sometimes cause quite horrific accidents. Our next step of the day was to visit a glacier and a small lake that's kind of formed in front of it from the glacier melting and this was an insane sight. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before but it was super cool and also like super insane to realize just how much has melted over time and as we were leaving the tour guide told us that in like 70 to 80 years none of that would even exist anymore because it would just be like a massive lake which is kind of scary when you think about the whole like global warming thing. Our last stop on the tour was to such a cool waterfall that is quite unique in that you can actually like walk the whole way around the waterfall and behind it because it kind of like goes over a cliff. If you are going to go to Iceland, if you are going to go to this waterfall and do this tour, be warned that you get very wet doing this um, as you walk around. Obviously it's like waterfalls, there's heaps of water everywhere and then we had like a lot of wind that was pushing the rain towards us so luckily it was the last stop on the tour because I think everyone on the bus was like soaked after this experience. We got dropped off about seven o'clock and we decided to quickly grab some dinner before we headed back to our hotel to I uh, get warm and get dry and we stumbled upon this place that I thought was a restaurant but turned out to be like a little food hall with lots of different stores inside which was super cool so we had some really yummy wood fired pizza. Uh, now we have come back as I've said we've gotten warm we've started packing because we have a super early start tomorrow. We have a bus that is going to pick us up at 4am so we obviously have to like wake up and get ready before that so it's going to be a super early morning which is why I'm ending this video now. Even though we didn't have the best start to our Iceland trip with the plane delay and not being able to go to the Blue Lagoon I feel like we have definitely made the most of our essentially like 48 hours uh, in Iceland with the tours and stuff that we have done. Everything that we have seen I feel like we've seen a lot of like super cool nature which is kind of like a lot of what we've been doing on our honeymoon and all the different places that we've been going but that's just kind of like what we like to do on holiday. So it's been really really cool. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on the journey with me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have. Um, if you haven't already there is a bunch of other honeymoon travel vlogs going to LA and Canada and things um, up on my channel already and then tomorrow we are also heading to London so that travel vlog will be up most likely next week. Um, so yeah until then hope you guys have a really great week and yeah I'll see you later on. Bye!